Welcome to uh, the first part of Analysis of Financial Statements, Chapter 13 lecture. In this lecture, we're going to explain the purposes and identify the building blocks of analysis. Financial statement analysis applies analytical tools to financial statements and related data for making decisions. This section is going to describe the purpose of the financial statement analysis, its information sources, and use of comp comparisons and some issues of computation. Internal users of accounting information manage and operate the company. They include managers, officers, internal auditors. The purpose of the financial statement analysis for internal use is to provide strategic information to improve company efficiency and effectiveness in providing products and services. External users of accounting information are not directly involved in accounting uh, in running of the company. They don't get this information. They get the financial statements that we, would, we did in 4A. They rely on those financial statement analysis to make more informed decisions in pursuing their goal. The common goal of these users is to evaluate company performance and the financial condition, including evaluating past and current performance, current and financial position, and future performance and risk. So here we have the building blocks of analysis. The financial statement analysis focuses on one or more elements of a company's financial condition or performance. Our analysis emphasizes four areas. Again, these are our building blocks of the financial statement analysis. We have liquidity and efficiency. It is the ability to meet short-term obligations and to effectively generate revenues. Solvency is the ability to generate the future revenues and meet long-term goals. Profitability. It's the ability to provide financial rewards sufficient to attract and retain financing. Lastly, we have our market prospects. It is the ability to generate a positive market expectation. Information for analysis, the, the places we find the information in order to make the analysis um, we use our general purpose financial statements. Those are the income statement. They include the balance sheet, the statement of uh, stockholders' equity, or the statement of retained earnings, the statement of cash flows, and any notes that would have been attached to these reports that give us more information that we need. The financial reporting refers to communication of financial information used for making investment, credit, and other business decisions. Financial reporting includes not only general purpose financial statements, but also information from an SEC, SEC 10K or other filings, press releases, stockholders meetings, forecasts, management letters, auditors reports, and webcasts. Our second learning objective describes standards for comparisons in analysis. When interpreting financial statements, we need standards or what we call benchmarks for comparison. And those benchmarks include intercompany. The company's current performance is compared to its prior performance and its relations between financial items. Apple's current Net income, for instance, can be compared with its prior year net income and in relation to its revenues or total assets. Then we're looking at competitors. For a competitor, they provide standards for comparisons. Coca-Cola's profit margin can be compared to PepsiCo's profit margin. Uh, industry and the industry statics provide standards of comparisons. Intel's profit margin can be compared to its industry's profit margin. Guidelines or rules of thumb, standards of comparison can develop from experience. Examples, the two to one ratio level for current or the one to one level for asset test ratios can be looked at. Guidelines or rule of thumb, standards of comparison can develop from experience. There are the two to one level for the current ratio or the uh, one to one level for the asset ratio. Benchmarks from a selected competitor or group of competitors are often best. Intracompany or industry measures are also important. Guidelines or rules of thumb should be applied with care. Then only if they seem reasonable given past experience and industry norms. So the tools of uh, financial statements, these are our most common. Historical analysis, 
uh, comparison of a company's financial condition and performance across time, vertical analysis, uh, comparing a company's financial condition and performance to uh, base mount. A lot of people have trouble with the horizontal and the vertical. When you're thinking of horizontal, you're comparing one year to another. So you're taking the same account maybe and looking at this year and last year and making a comparison. When we're looking at a vertical analysis, we're going into the year itself and comparing parts of the year to other parts. Like on an income statement, we may compare some of the expenses or the cost of goods sold to the sales or the net income or something of that nature. And then lastly, we have the ratio analysis, the measurement of key relations between financial statement item. Okay, so this is the first segment. I'm trying not to make these too long so that you don't, your eyes don't glaze over and your head starts to nod. We will pick up the next set in part two. Thank you.